Hi Capricorn, how are we doing? Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. Thank you so much for clicking this video. All right, so in today's reading, we're gonna be looking into the energy surrounding Capricorn this December. So if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus is in the sign of Capricorn, then these messages are for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn in any capacity, then these messages, you know, could give you some insight on how they're feeling and how they're doing. Um, so before we start, I just want to give a quick little shout out to my Patreon family. Those of you who don't like waiting on a reading, do consider checking out my Patreon. That's where you get early access to all of my YouTube videos, ad free and everything. Like as soon as they drop, you get to see it. And um, you also get access to exclusive content. So videos I don't post on here. Um, basically I do weekly readings over there for all of the signs. So if you wanna know, you know, what your month is looking like and what your week is looking like, check out the Patreon gang. We are a great family over there. Lots of fun. So just wanna quick, give a quick shout out to my, my loved ones, my heart. Um, I was going to also take a break from readings in early 2021. However, I decided that I love what I do and I decided I love you guys. So I'm actually going to be um, opening up some slots for January and you can actually purchase them right now. Um, slots are going to be a little bit limited, but like I said, you can go ahead and purchase them right now. Um, December is fully booked. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who booked with me this December. Yeah, I'm fully booked. But if you want to make sure that you secure a reading for January, the link is in the description box. And I have a special sale going on right now. All you have to do is put in the code LIVE15, LIVE15, all right? And you save 15% off your reading if you book before December 6th, all right? So again, description, it got all the links you need, baby, all the links you need. Okay, let's get right into it, Capricorn. It's going to be an interesting month for you, especially those of you who have your birthdays in December, all right? Happy birthday to you. So I pulled um, six cards here for the overall spiritual energy surrounding you. This December, you already know. So we got the number 18 card shadow, followed by the um, accelerated motion card in reverse. We got the number four card, Rest and Rejuvenate, all right? I feel like you can already kind of tell where I'm going with this. We got the Fertility card in reverse, Emotional Withdrawal in reverse, and then we got the Sacrifice card, okay? Also, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Intuition card in reverse. So Capricorn, right off the bat, I'm feeling as though you need to prioritize rest this December. You also need to prioritize being alone with your thoughts. I feel as though there have been a lot of things that you've been giving your time and energy to. I'm going to just take a wild guess and assume it has to do with work. I don't know. Just came to mind, right? So I feel as though um, these things are kind of distracting you from your spiritual self, from connecting with yourself, and also your emotions, okay? So I feel as though... You're going to be faced with, um, you know, an opportunity or at least uh, the desire, hopefully, to kind of like take some time by yourself. I'm, I'm tapping into you being in isolation or you just like taking a break from, again, outside energies, outside thoughts and things of the sort and just be with yourself and be at peace and able to meditate on what it is that your soul has been trying to tell you. I feel so a lot of you may be feeling disconnected at this time with your intuition or disconnected with your heart, your emotions, your desires. And I feel so all you need to do is be still. All you need to do is give yourself a day, a week, whatever you can do to rest. And honestly, just like focus on yourself. Just focus on yourself for once. Focus on your health also and focus on catching up on sleep. I feel so the sleep is going to be very significant for you this December. Okay. Um, I feel as though also with the fertility card in reverse, I don't know if there's someone here may be thinking about children. Maybe you've been having difficulty conceiving. Maybe you've lost a child. Um, I'm also seeing maybe someone is wanting to start a family, but they're just not sure how that's going to fit into their lifestyle just yet. The fertility card also speaks about creativity and also just like starting something new, of course. So I'm feeling as though with the accelerated motion in reverse, you may be feeling as though things are a little bit stagnant at this time. You may be feeling unmotivated as well and just kind of sluggish overall. And you may be feeling disappointed about this because you know we're kind of like ending the year of course with December so maybe the energy is just a little bit a little bit odd to you we also got Saturn which is about to enter Aquarius so maybe you are kind of feeling you know the Saturn energy kind of looming over you at this time now Capricorn we're gonna look into the tarot I'm telling you right now it's probably not going to be you know this this weird feeling all month but i feel so this is definitely going to be the vibe for the first um couple of weeks okay i feel so at least up until the 8th possibly even the 18th of december is when you'll be feeling like 
this kind of a strange energy but honestly i feel so it's just the universe trying to get you to slow down because you've been going hard all year even if you haven't felt as though you met your goals this year even though you may be telling yourself that you could have gone even harder trust me capricorn like you did a lot and the universe is trying to get you to sit your ass down like please relax like please calm down okay so let's get into the tarot i'm going to start with the overall spiritual energy surrounding uh career and finances of course like of course and then we're going to look into your love life okay because we did see the um emotional withdrawal here so i'm not sure if you may be feeling disconnected from your partner or disconnected again from your true heart's desires i know capricorn isn't really the type to be you know just dating around and kind of being like carefree i know that you you do tend overall to take love serious um so yeah, we'll see what that says, okay? So let's look into this. If you like these types of reading, please give this video a thumbs up because that truly helps me with the algorithm, all right? Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And most importantly, turn your bell notifications on so that you don't miss a reading, all right? So let's see the overall energy surrounding career and finances for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, energy surrounding career and finances for Capricorn, please. I hope you're doing well. Also, drink something while you're watching this. Drink some water. Okay, definitely career opportunities coming up, Capricorn. Let me see. We got the Knight of, of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So especially those of you who are looking for work right now or those of you who might have been um, just feeling overall miserable when it comes to your work life, I feel so there's going to be an opportunity here to be making money. Uh, I feel so there's a job offer on the table here. Um, I'm also picking up on uh, the number five being significant. So I'm not sure if you've been unemployed for five years, five years, sorry, for five weeks or five months or five days. There's like a, an amount of time that's like number five is passing by and then the opportunity comes up. Or maybe it's going to be five days from you watching this video that the opportunity does show up. But I'm seeing mention of five and then an opportunity comes, okay? So this could be a promotion, this could be anything. Um, I'm seeing the three of cups here. So it could be a friend giving uh, an, a good word in for you. Um, I'm, I'm picking up on either you're getting along with your coworkers and maybe they're opening doors for you. Or maybe this is a connection that you have here and they are you know, letting you um, either putting in a good word for for you maybe people are celebrating your um, your promotion or celebrating something that you're doing at work but i'm feeling as though you are supported during this time there's people coming together we got the emperor card in reverse followed by the sun card and then the eight of wands so i definitely feel as though you don't need to do everything by yourself right now with the emperor card in reverse you may be feeling um I feel as though you've been working hard for a very long time and I feel as though you're now going to be supported by people helping you and at least celebrating you, okay? With the Emperor card in reverse, I feel as though you might have been really hard on yourself. I feel as though with the um, with this card here, you've been like, like I said, just like really focused and determined to like reach these goals. You're trying to always like, you know, um, surpass your previous goal. I feel so you're going to get the success that it is that you, you know, are, are, are seeking right now. But I feel as though it's important for you to accept the support that others, that those around you have. Okay. Even if people are not in the same type of field as you, even if people are not directly affiliated with your job, I still see support here. This could be friends. This could be family members. I still see people coming together and wanting to help you you feel inspired and help you feel driven again because i feel so you might have kind of lost your way and i feel like your loved ones have picked up on that okay some of you are also confused between two job opportunities or just a, an overall like like path to take when it comes to either career or finances i'm seeing that you have a decision to make and i feel so your judgment may be feeling a little bit clouded right now so again don't hesitate to open up to your loved ones about this those the, the few people that you trust capricorn i know that you tend to be private and i and i totally respect that but i feel so there could be someone coming in to help you you know make make a wise decision now don't don't be asking advice from someone that doesn't have their ish together okay you're gonna be smart about who it is that you're asking this advice to but i'm seeing here with the um, magician card in reverse it's really important for you to stick to your dreams okay don't feel as though you're being overly ambitious don't feel as though like don't talk yourself out of following your actual dreams okay and your life goals and we have my cat here who wants to really emphasize my message here he really wants you to know that you can follow your dreams and you can follow your goals okay because the magician card in reverse it does speak about your manifestation abilities but i feel so you're not really tapping into them right now especially those of you who have been having you know a hard time i'm sorry especially those frank can we can we do a reading can we have a bit of privacy please okay 
especially those of you who have been having a hard time and just feeling like unmotivated for quite some time. I feel as though you're kind of losing hope here. So yeah, the magician card is just reminding you not to be, you know, like not to be pessimistic. Like let's get let's get the vibes going. I know with the accelerated motion card in reverse, you're not really feeling like things are moving that much. But Capricorn, like let's go. Like do you know who you are, Capricorn? Especially if you got Sagittarius placements in your chart, like you're good, you're manifester. Like, like let's let's get moving. Okay, we're gonna go into love because I don't want this energy to rub off. You got this. You're going to be fine. Like, that's that's all I have to say. Okay, we're going to move on to love. All right, energy surrounding Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love this December. Energy surrounding Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love. Please show us the energy surrounding Cancer in love this December. Ah, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. I don't know what to do with you. Okay, again, I'm seeing celebrations. Um, you may be spending, you know, the holidays with your loved ones or also your birthday. I'm definitely seeing people reaching out to you. You may be sending out invitations or at least you're being invited. Okay, I'm also seeing you squashing some beef. Okay, I'm seeing that you are moving on from some a time of like, I don't know, just being pessimistic. I feel as though you're letting bygones be bygones. Okay, let's see here. I also feel as though, why do I feel like you are getting everything ready for your own birthday? Feels so like you're like putting a lot of work. You need to take a vacation, first of all. We got the, the full card belt followed by the Ten of Wands. You need to take some kind of vacation, especially those of you who have like a love interest in your life. You need to like have a bit more fun with them. I feel as though there's going to be a lot of opportunity in December to kind of let go and, you know, tap into the full card because I feel so you could really benefit from being lighthearted, Capricorn. We got, yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is your energy. I feel as though you have not been listening to your intuition. Okay, Capricorn, I'm about to be a little tough love on you. Okay, those of you who are finding as though you are giving up on love, maybe you're finding that you are attracting people, but you're not really trusting of them, okay? Maybe you are finding that you are losing your patience when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your partner. I'm here to tell you that you need a break, okay? The problem is not everyone around you. I'm seeing that everything is great, everything is dandy, everything's lovely, but you need to tap into your inner child. You need to enjoy the present moment. You've been working yourself like way too hard and that is causing you to like see things in a negative perspective when it comes to your love life things are not as bad as you think they are and you're also not as confused as you think you are like i said all of the um all of the answers to your questions are already within you you have the intuition that you need in order to make a decision when it comes to your love life you have all the intuition you need in order to move forwards in a positive smart logical perfect beautiful manner all right you just got to give yourself the chance to actually hear your thoughts okay does that make sense we, we got the high priestess here so it's speaking about a disconnect between your mind body and spirit let me see more yeah we got the queen of wands you may be dealing with the fire sign i see mention of leo L earlier i feel so the fire sign or whoever you're dealing with they're ready to come to you they may be um long distance or they may be coming back from a trip i feel so they are ready to make a move on you i feel so the whoever is coming in in <laughs> whoever is coming in this December, whoever you're already dealing with, they are very confident. Okay, they're they're sure of themselves. They don't have any doubts when it comes to this connection. And I feel as though if they have not really been opening up as of late, they might be like a little bit shy. I feel as though they're gonna be opening up. And like I said, I feel as though they're coming to you. Like there used to be distance between you, and now they don't want the distance anymore. Yeah, we got the night. We got the night. Especially if you're dealing with the Leo or it could be another um, fire sign. I'm seeing that they are coming to you. They are rushing to you. Okay, so I feel like. Like, um, there's no reason for you to be hesitating right now. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with this December Capricorn is going to have a really good um, influence on you because this person is lighthearted. This person reminds you to tap into your inner child. That is the part of you that is playful, curious, not the workaholic, not the one that's focused on chasing the bag all the time. Of course, make your money. I'm not, I would never tell a Capricorn not to make their money, but I'm saying don't also forget to live in the present moment. Maybe you have fire energy within your chart or especially in your big three sun moon rising venus okay tap into this energy in december don't let the saturn energy weigh you down and make you feel as though you're not allowed to have fun how are you supposed to manifest love and lightheartedness if you can't even tap into the playful energy and the healing energy of your inner child and love and everything like that okay we also got the king of pentacles here so you may be dealing with another earth sign uh um Ge uh, I was going to say Gemini, <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, but I'm seeing um, whatever your situation looks like, 
when it comes to love this December. I'm seeing stability, okay? So I'm seeing consistency coming in for you in December. I'm seeing someone likely wanting to take things a step further with you. I feel as though you and your partner, you guys are on the same page. You may be overthinking things, Capricorn, but you and your partner are on the same page. I feel as though if they haven't been giving you like actual legitimate red flags, then they should all be good. I feel so whoever you're dealing with this, um, this December is trustworthy. Just have fun with them. Like literally just have fun with them. Like is, can we do that? Can we shake hands? Can we? Okay. I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm going to pull some, um, Moonology cards. Okay. To see, you know, some, some last minute advice for you because I feel like maybe you're still not going to listen to me. Maybe you're going to go straight back to work after this. Are you gonna go straight back to work after this Capricorn? Like, why can't we hang out? At least drink something while you're watching this. Drink some tea, relax. Do something, Capricorn. Damn. And people want you to come out of your shell because you're so much fun to be around. But you've just been overworking yourself and that's your decision. You can always decide to take on less hours at work. You can always, you know, speak to whoever, like your manager or whatever, and just discuss, you know, like the, the workload that you have. People are willing to communicate with you. We got the, literally the communication card here, Gemini. And you know, I was trying to, um, I was thinking about Gemini earlier. So maybe you're dealing with the Gemini, we have Gemini placements, but they say communication is key. New moon and Gemini. You need to speak to someone about your workload. You need to speak to at least your partner about what you've been feeling. You need to think, you need to speak about your insecurities right now. Cause like, I feel so you have really solid people around you, even if it's not a romantic partner, you have solid people around you and they want to help you. And I feel so they already are picking up on you kind of losing it. I don't know how well you are hiding everything, but I feel as though people love you and they want to support you. You got nothing will come out of this situation. So yeah, I feel so adjustments do need to be made Capricorn because I feel like you are just simply overworking yourself and you deserve to end the long ass year that has been 2020 on a good note okay you deserve rest you deserve vacation time especially paid vacation but you know we won't even go there you deserve to um take a break you deserve to have a kit kat you deserve to relax please like at least for december at least so that you can start you know the new year strong like is that is can that be a deal we got to bring love into the situation so again i feel so your love life has really been missing out on you know romance and playfulness you need to enjoy the present moment you need to go on some date nights even if you are just staying home i'm sorry my cat's hair is everywhere you need to just do more things that bring the love out okay especially if you are single right now and you're trying to manifest love you have to treat yourself as though you're already in the relationship that you seek okay spoil yourself be sweet to yourself be kind be generous you deserve that much i checked the card at the bottom of the deck and i want you to read it out for me please can you read it out are you able Capricorn, every time we do readings, I need you to read out your cards for me every single time because I know how stubborn you are. Take time to breathe out is what the card says. Can you do that, Capricorn? Can you pinky promise me right now that you're going to do this? Last cards, have faith in your dreams. Of course, because you, you are able to manifest anything you want, Capricorn, and I want you to remember that. Have faith in your dreams. Don't give up. And then we also got the full moon in Cancer. Now, Cancer is your sister sign. This is your polar opposite, but also, you know, your alter ego, your best self. You are a lover deep down, Cancer. I mean, Capricorn. I know that you care deeply about the ones that you love. You are very protective over the ones you love, especially your family members or anyone that you consider family, okay? I want you to know that people love you as much as you love them. <sighs> I don't want to get emotional. People love you as much as you love them. People want to be there for you as much as you want to be there for them. And you should allow them the opportunity to do just that for you. Everything that you do for others, you should allow that same energy to be reciprocated towards you because that is love. You are asked to bring love into this situation. So it's kind of like, don't be so selfish and stingy and just wanting to do everything by yourself that you don't allow your loved ones to give you the same gift that you give others okay capricorn because think about it imagine how sad you would feel if like your loved ones would not you know let you in on what they're really going through if you knew that you could have helped and supported your loved one in any type of capacity because you know you would do anything for them but they simply did not make you aware of 
what was going on with them, okay? So a personal issue reaches resolution, especially if you need to talk things out. It may be a domestic matter. It may be pertaining to your family, especially a sibling here. I'm picking up on siblings because we have the Gemini energy. Maybe it's even your neighbor. But if there's a if there's a, an issue that you've been having and you've been like kind of putting off a, con a conversation or maybe you're about to have a conversation, I'm seeing it going well. And I also want you to initiate some type of dialogue in regards to you not really feeling like yourself lately, you um, may be falling behind when it comes to your interpersonal relationships because you've been putting so much effort and energy into your career, things like that. And just like also acknowledging the fact that you may not have been the most present as of late, okay? You're forgiven, you are loved and you are supported. So whatever it is that you need to discuss, know that it's going to turn out just fine. Your family is safe and you are going to be okay, all right? A personal issue reaches resolution. I'll put one more card because I love you. It says, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio is very not, you know, very not trusting of um, anyone, basically. So I feel so you have to learn how to trust and be a little bit more vulnerable. Um, I know that emotions may be running high, especially after the full moon that we just had. We also have an eclipse coming up. So again, just a reminder that you are loved and supported and to allow your loved ones to be there for you, Capricorn. If there's anything that you take out of this from this reading, it is that, okay? I love you and I'll see you later and happy birthday. And just be good to yourself and be good to the ones that you love because... They want to support you so bad, like so badly. I'm going to go and cry right now, so I'll talk to you later. And um, I love you. Bye.